Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be continuing talking about how to test for differences. Today though, we'll be talking about ANOVA. So ANOVA stands for Analysis of Variance. And you use this when you're trying to compare multiple means. So usually three or more means you're gonna use an ANOVA for. Now we're gonna walk through the ANOVA using the FRED method, but I'm gonna rely more heavily this time on the computing package to do the calculations for us, as opposed to showing you how to do that by hand. So if you're interested in, I do have a separate video that will help you to see how to do those calculations by hand or what the formulas at least are. So check that out if you want to. For now, remember that FRED is formulate, review, execute, and draw conclusions. So we're gonna start with the F. So for formulating the problem, here remember I said that we're comparing multiple means. So that means that you'll be defining first the populations just like always. And then you might say the variables that you're measuring. So the variable um, of interest. And then you would write out your parameter definitions. Now, if you heard me say populations, parameter definitions, with the ANOVA, you're comparing multiple means. So it's usually at least three, so three or more means that you'll be comparing. So that means that you will have multiple mu's. So you might be defining three mu's, you might be defining five mu's, but essentially we've defined a mu before, so that's familiar, but this time we're doing it for multiple populations. So you might have mean hours of study for freshmen, mean hours of study for sophomores, mean hours of study for juniors, mean hours of study for seniors, and that would be your four populations, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. So that's that formulating. And then after you write all of this, remember that the last portion of formulating um, the problem is writing out your null and alternative hypotheses. So this is a, a little different than what we've done in the past. It's gonna look kind of funny, especially if you've just recently been watching the paired data or dependent data or independent data hypothesis test. So here, our null might be that mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3, which equals mu4. So remember, we just talked about maybe hours of study for freshmen, sophomore, junior, senior. So you have how many mu's you defined, that goes into your null hypothesis. However, your alternative is going to be not all means are equal. And the reason that we say this is because you only need one mean to not be the same. If we wrote out mu1 doesn't equal mu2 doesn't equal mu3 doesn't equal mu4, that means that all of them cannot be equal to each other. Whereas when you write it this way, which is actually what the ANOVA is testing for, is that not all means are equal. So you only need one that's different. So that's the F, formulate the problem. In part two of this mini series, we'll do the R, which is reviewing conditions. See you there.